Now let's continue working on some word problems. And here we have an age word problem. So we know that Bobo is 29 years old. Five years ago, Bobo was three times as old as his little brother, Rocket, at the time. So how old is Rocket today? So let's make a little chart. Bobo and Rocket. So today, Bobo's 29. We don't know how old Rocket is. In fact, that's what we want to find out. So I'm gonna, just going to say that Rocket is X years old. Now, what about five years ago? How old was Bobo five years ago? Well, 29 minus 5, just 24. He was 24 years old. What about Rocket? Well, we just know that Rocket was, or sorry, that today his age is X. So five years ago, he must have been X minus five years old. Now, what else do we know? We know that back then, five years ago, Bobo was three times as old as his little brother. So we can say that if we're comparing x minus 5, which is Rocket's age five years ago, to the 24, we know that the 24 was three times as big as the x minus 5, which was Rocket's age. So we put a 3 over here. So three times Rocket's age will equal 24, which was Bobo's age. And once we solve for x, we have we will, well, by then, we will know Rocket's age today. So now let's distribute the 3. 3 times x, 3x. 3 times negative 5, negative 15. And that's equal to 24. We want to isolate x, so I will add 15 to both sides of the equation. They cancel out over here, these 15s. We can bring down the 3x, and that's just equal to 24 plus 15, 39. Now what do we do? We can just divide both sides by 3. And x will be equal to 39 divided by 3, 13. So that means that Rocket is 13 years of age today. 13. Five years ago, he was 13 minus 5, so 8 years old. And note that Bobo was 24 back then, which is 3 times 8. So we have solved the problem correctly. That's it. So I suggest, of course, that you try practicing a few of these questions. And you can find them on our website right here. Good luck.